looking at where we are right now, as far as the nation is concerned, and the state of the economy in the black community, and we bring these conversations over and over again, suddenly for emphasis to reaffirm what we're doing. I, I'm wondering though, when, when, when do we get to a point where we begin to see some tangibles here? Right, and that we, we, don't, we don't lose steam, if you will, because there are folk who are listening. So, look, okay, I hear what Jim Vincent is saying. Yeah, he's gonna pound that reparation drum in, in Providence. Just, just give him two years, he's gonna lose steam. I hear what Ben Kale is saying. Yeah, they'll do the conference next, you know, they'll lose steam. I mean, there are people expecting us to lose steam on the question of economic justice. So, I, I want you to respond to that in terms of, you know, how do we continue? To, to, to emphasize, bid the drum on this issue. Well, you know what, um, when people say Jim Vincent and they say losing steam uh, in Rhode Island, people don't even understand what that even means. You know, when I was 16 years old and Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated back in 1968, and I had the opportunity because of the push by civil rights movements to get those 17 year olds across the country into the best schools in the country, I realized it was a civil rights movement. I realized that was the reason why in 1973, I graduated from Dartmouth College and in 1975 with a master's from the University of Pennsylvania when the majority of black men, I think in the country didn't even have a high school diploma. So I realized it was the civil rights movement that put me in an impossible uh, situation in terms of achievement. It wasn't me, I didn't hit the triple. I was the pinch runner, somebody hit the triple before me and I just scored the win and run. But I was smart enough to understand that it was people that came before me that I stayed on their shoulders. And that has fired me up since I came out of grad school in 1975, which I think, what was it, 47 years ago? So 47 years ago, and I'm as passionate now as I was then, I don't see, maybe in 47 years from now, I'll lose some steam. But certainly not in the next 10 years. Not in the next 10 years. I'm a young man, I'm only 71 years old. So I got a lot of fire in the belly and I'm, I'm, I'm here to stay. 